Hi everyone. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain about Z-Wave exclusion and inclusion. Uh, mainly about exclusion, um, I have just switched my controller, my Z-Wave controller, between a uh, Vera, uh, that's spelled V-E-R-A, to a Samsung SmartThings. And during that process, I have to switch about probably about 20 Z-Wave devices that I have, which are switches, uh, motion sensors, um, humidity sensors, etc. Um, they are uh, all connected to the previous um, hubs or controllers Z-Wave network. And to do that actually is pretty difficult uh, because Z-Wave, the way it works is that you have to exclude it from the previous network first and then include it in a new network or hub and in order for you to exclude it or unpair it from the previous hub um, I actually made a mistake um, I reset the Z-Wave network before I exclude everything and so some devices were not excluded and um, I found it the hard way that um, I don't know how to exclude it from the previous network because it's no longer recognizing it anyway. So I found out that uh, there's a general misconception is that you can actually use any controller or any hub to exclude your Z-Wave devices. So here, let me give you an example here. I have a, uh, this is a regular switch on the left. This is a Z-Wave switch here uh, on the right. And this Z-Wave switch, is right now already paired and working um, with the um, uh, with the current um, controller that I have, which is a SmartThings hub. So typically, what I need to do is I have to exclude it first. But this process works. Like I was saying, the key point here is that it works with any device. So all you have to do is have a Z-Wave uh, controller, any any one of them it doesn't have to be your previous one uh, so I was able to exclude my unexcluded devices using my new controller which knew nothing about those new devices which is strange because you're essentially what I did was I excluded those devices which was included from the previous hub or controller using the new hub which makes no sense uh, but anyway let me demonstrate how you do that so first thing you need to do is go into the uh, the smart things hubs um, I guess detail and here I'm using the smart things classic app and then you go to, into the z-wave utilities and then you go to the general exclusion and this is pretty typical for most hubs or controllers that support Z-Wave. You always have this way of doing a general exclusion. And this is just a warning. Are you sure you want to put the hub in a general, in, in an exclusion mode, which means that any signal from any Z-Wave devices uh, to to trigger, ex, uh, to trigger, I guess, notification will, will automatic be, automatically means that the hub thinks that it, it, it wants to be excluded. So let's go ahead and use uh, go into that mode so it says here exclusion mode active and then now it's just waiting I think for like a minute for any signal so if I go to the switch and then I start tapping up and down <coughs> whoops and it says here unknown device was excluded uh, it is now reset and can be used in it okay so yeah so it recognized it right away uh, as an unknown device, but I'm not sure why. Uh, earlier I tried it and actually recognized it as a switch. But uh, that, that's it. By having the uh, hub or controller in exclusion mode or removal mode and then double tapping on the device that you want to be removed, it sends a signal, it recognizes it, and it removes it. So I'm going to say OK because I don't need to do another one. And uh, now... Um, I'm going to give you a uh, inclusion tip. So when, when you're including or, or starting uh, including devices to your new hub, like I did, I had to do about 20 or, 20 or so devices, you want to start with your closest device. So um, what works really best for me was um, 
I use a power extension cord and a long cable, a long Ethernet cable uh, or Cat5 cable. I plug both of those into my the back of my um, uh, SmartThings hub and I was able to bring that around the house to the closest switch has to be a power device the first one I recommend you to do a uh, to 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 include a power device and put it really close within three feet and uh, and exclude I mean include that device first and then from that device it will then be able to repeat the signal the z-wave signal to the other devices around it and the repeat distance they say in all the manuals about a hundred feet but it's actually not a hundred feet it's more like um, perhaps 50 feet um, with walls and I mean that's that's 50 feet is including obstruction like walls and um, glass and things like that anyhow um, if you use that method using the power cord extension cord and then the um, network cable extension uh, you're able to bring the device uh, the hub to a close switch now I have had trouble with with some devices that even though I assume that the signal will be relayed all throughout the house as I as I uh, start including all these uh, switches I didn't have to bring the the, the Samsung smart things everywhere so I, I started with the closest one I go further and further and further but there are still some switches that I just can't include for some reason so I have to also again use the technique of bringing the actual controller very close to the device and it actually was able to exclude it and then include it etc um, also another note a lot of you may already know this power device like switches uh, anything that is plugged in and actually get power from the wall um, they supposed to by z-wave standard repeat signals the one that is not repeating signals are like motion sensors uh, things that are battery operated, etc. Those Z-Wave devices are not supposed to uh, repeat signals. Okay, well, hopefully um, uh, you find this useful. I'm going to um, actually um, sorry um, finish the video by in by including a um, a way for you to add a device. And uh, so the way that we add a device is by uh, going to your add device section of your controller, choosing the manufacturer and then the choosing the type. And then um, remember, this is already excluded. So we are just going to click next and then select the room next. And then the, this is already now in inclusion mode. And this should just work by double tapping up and down, whatever. Just This will just send a signal to the controller for it to be included. Okay. I don't know why this is not working. Again, this is part of the frustration of Z-Wave network. Sometimes it's just iffy the way it works. Okay, I guess that's not going to work. Oh, there you go. Finally. Okay, so let's rename this quickly. Uh, this is the balcony. Done. And there you are. Um, I'm going to go to here. And go back. Okay. That's how you uh, do an inclusion to a SmartThings controller. Um, I hope you find this video useful. Um, and um, please hit the like button and subscribe if you do. Have a good day. Thanks.